Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another video, and actually this is something a little different. I've gotten a couple of requests to do this and thought, what the heck, it'd be fun, let's do it. This is a what's on my iPhone video. And we're gonna do this in a few different ways. I'm gonna start by showing you what's on my home screen and how I have that organized. And then I will take you through my app library and we'll see what's there. So I've gotten a few requests to do this and I think it's time, so let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and unlock my iPhone 12, which is my main phone. 12.47 a.m. Okay, we're unlocked. Safari. And we're on the home screen. I'm gonna say right now, the way I like my home screen is very organized. I like, for the most part, things in folders, alphabetical order where possible. So that's what you will see here. Now, a few apps that I think are like really critical that I use, I do have out of a folder. And then I have a second page, which we'll come to with a few more of those. So let's go ahead and start. So at the very top of my home screen, Safari. turn up my volume there, you'll see I have the Safari web browser, because of course, want to surf the net, you don't want to be looking around for that app. Next, we have blindness apps folder for apps. a folder which I called blindness apps. So let's go in here. Blindness apps, heading. And in blindness apps, we have blind bargains. Blind Bargains, a great app for keeping up with technology, system tech news, and, and they have a great podcast and a lot of good content, so I love Blind Bargains. Magnifier. I have the iOS Magnifier app, which I do actually find helpful. It can be very helpful for me. I have a little bit of vision, so I like using this to blow up text on, particularly on other technology that's not as accessible. I actually use this quite a bit with my weather radios if I want to verify that it is programmed correctly. So after Magnifier, we have Seeing AI. Microsoft Seeing AI, great app for identifying. I like it for products, especially. I use the barcode scanner in that. Um, also, it can do short text and documents, but for documents, I like this app better. Voice Dream Scanner. Voice Dream Scanner. I just find Voice Dream Scanner is so accurate and fast that really that's my go-to. If I need to see what a sheet of paper is or even something that's on like a computer screen if it's frozen or not talking to me, Voice Dream Scanner is the app I use for that. Blindness apps folder, four apps. So after my blindness apps folder, books and reading material folder, seven apps. We have a folder which I call books and reading material. So let's go in here. Books and reading material, heading. And in here we have Audible. Audible. Audible.com, of course. Good book service. Bard Mobile. Bard Mobile. This is an app actually we're going to be taking a look at in an upcoming video. Recently got a major update improving the search capability. So I'll be demonstrating that in an upcoming video. Books. The Apple Books app, formerly iBooks, for reading any books you may have there. Goodreads. I have Goodreads for trying to get book recommendations. Pretty neat app. Kindle. Amazon's Kindle app for reading Kindle books especially came in handy in college because I used to sometimes be able to get my textbooks in the Kindle format. Voice Dream Reader. Voice Dream Reader, a fantastic reading app can read Bookshare, titles, and even can support unprotected Daisy audiobooks and even other audio that you could throw into it. Wikipedia. And finally, for kind of a reference, I have Wikipedia. It's always great to just do a quick search if I'm, there's a topic I'm curious about or always like reading Wikipedia articles. Let's back out of here. Books and reading material. Camera. Now we have my camera, which... I do use quite a bit because I enjoy taking photos and videos. So I want quick access to that on my home screen. And it's pretty easy to know that's on my top right. So that's always pretty helpful. Photos. And I have photos next to that if I want to see 
Im images and videos that I've taken, I can just go right there. Entertainment folder, 14 apps. Okay, entertainment folder. This is a big folder, 14 apps, as you heard. Let's go in here. Heading. Castro. I have Castro. This is a great podcast app, although, unfortunately, I don't think I will be using it much longer, as it has not been updated yet since iOS 16 came out. And there's a serious bug with some podcasts, particularly those that seem to be using the Pinecast hosting platform. So, unfortunately, my days with Castro might be over. Concertino. Concertino, that is an app for looking up classical music through Apple Music. It's actually a neat app. It's not perfect in terms of accessibility, but with screen recognition and tools like that, it is usable, and I actually quite like it. Hulu, recently updated. Hulu, I do have a Hulu subscription. Netflix. And Netflix, well, I have access to it. <laughs> Let's not go into that. Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus, I do subscribe to that. Actually, for a specific, very specific niche reason. Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video is a Prime member. It's nice to have access to that. Pluto TV. Pluto TV, I think I mentioned that in a few other videos, but I particularly like Pluto TV's excellent game show content. They even now recently got a Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy channel. Roku. Roku for, well, I have this to access the content from the Roku channel. Actually, they've got some great game show content as well. Sonos. Sonos for my Sonos speakers, including the Sonos Roam which we've looked at, and a few other speakers that I still need to review for you all. Page one of two, and jump page two of two. Now, page two has Xfinity Stream. Xfinity Stream, which I use to watch our Xfinity channels on my phone, although I don't use the phone too much for that. TV listings. I have a TV listings app. I'm not sure what the full name of it was. I feel like there was more to it. It just shows up as TV listings, but... It's a very accessible and simple TV listings app, so I really do enjoy using that. VLC. VLC. I like that for playing some other audio content that I may wish to store. I don't use it very often, but it is good to have it. YouTube. YouTube. I don't think we need to explain what YouTube is. YT Studio. And I do have YouTube Studio here. I don't know what folder to put that in, so I just have it here for now. Um... And YouTube Studio is the app for managing a YouTube channel. Entertainment folder, 14 apps. Okay, after entertainment. Finance folder, 9 apps. We have finance. So in here. Finance, heading, Amex. I have the Amex app. Chime. Chime, which is for, if you have a Chime bank account, they're kind of an app-based bank. Credit Karma. I have my Credit Karma app. Digit. Digit is a money-saving app that I really like. It basically takes a little bit of money out of your account to put towards little goals that you set, and it can be quite effective. Unfortunately, accessibility of Digit has really gone downhill. Such a shame. Otherwise, I'd be really giving it a very high praise review because I love the service, but the app just... It's really not a good experience. It's gotten worse over the past few months, too, so... Can't really recommend it, unfortunately. I still use it, though. Discover. Okay, Discover. PayPal. PayPal. TD Bank, US. TD Bank. Venmo, recently updated. Venmo. Wallet. And Wallet. So let's get out of there. The finance folder, nine apps. Food folder, five apps. Food folder, that's a bit more fun. We like to eat, right? Food, heading. So in food, I have... DoorDash. DoorDash. Duncan. Duncan. Being from New England, gotta have my Duncan. America runs on it, apparently. Grubhub. Grubhub, good food delivery app. Online ordering for Windy City Pizza Vertical Line Powered by Chow Now. Now, this is actually a web app that I saved for ordering from a local pizza place near us called Windy City Pizza. And although this isn't the best experience either, there's an official app 
in the app store for this, but it was horrible with voiceover. And now this mobile website has gotten bad too, so that's unfortunate. Uber Eats. Okay, Uber Eats, that is actually my preferred food delivery platform. I just, I like the experience. I've had good, fast deliveries, so that's mainly what I use, Uber Eats. So let's go out of here. Food folder, games folder, five apps. Let's, let's see what we have for some fun. Here's some games. Games, heck, blindfold sound search. I have blindfold sound search. It's fun to play, kind of in small doses, though. I get tired of it after a while. Um, you know, it has different levels of matching different sounds. Kind of fun. Blindfold V-Ball. Blindfold V-Ball is like a ski ball game. And actually, it's another one I enjoy, especially if I only have a couple minutes and just want to play something. It's very easy to have a good game with Blindfold V-Ball. Blindfold Wildcard. Blindfold Wildcard, that's like Uno. It's a version of Uno. Also have a lot of fun with that. Here's Jeopardy Match. Here's Jeopardy Match. It's like a trivia game. It's all right. I don't play this one too often. It's also from the Blindfold Games team, but they're calling it Ears Jeopardy Match. They've rebranded a few of their games as Ears. I don't know why or... But that's what this is. Trivia Crack. And Trivia Crack. I still do play Trivia Crack. It's... Unfortunately, though, as I've heard from a lot of people, they do ask a lot of visual questions. And that's a bit disappointing, but... It is what it is, I guess. You know, maybe they could fix that in the future, but I still find it kind of fun to play, so I still have it. Games folder, helpful utilities folder, 17 apps. Now, this is one of my biggest folders. This is, I call it helpful utilities, and... Helpful utilities, heading. A whole bunch of different things here that, you know, you might not think would go in a utilities folder, but... I kind of use it as like a miscellaneous folder. It's apps that I find helpful or you know, things I may just want to keep on the home screen in a folder. So here we have Amazon Alexa. the Amazon Alexa app for the Amazon Echo. Be focused. Be focused. This is a timing app that I use. Well, I don't really use it as much anymore since I graduated from college, but this is an app that uses the Pomodoro timer technique. Basically, you work for a certain amount of time. I think I used to do like 25 minutes. And then after 25 minutes, you get a short five-minute break. You do that a couple more times, and you get a longer break. And you just keep on that cycle. I actually used to find it very helpful, and it used to keep me on track for getting work done. Calculator. Calculator, of course, that's just a standard iOS calculator. Clock, 1 a.m. Same with the clock. Find my. Find my for tracking, well, finding my devices, and also air tags. That's something we should take a look at, actually. Fire TV, recently updated. The Fire TV app for controlling my Fire TV. It's helpful. Google Home. Google Home for controlling my Google Home. Nest speakers. My noise. My noise. This is an app that has a whole bunch of sounds ranging from nature to can make some really good background sound with that. I actually really like this. I have one and you can combine different sounds together. So I have a lot of ones that have like ocean and thunderstorms and it's very relaxing. Nature space. Nature space is similar, although I actually prefer my noise. But I think nature space, they really aim for good quality. Page one of two, adjustable. I mean, my noise is good quality too, but like nature space is a lot of paid content in it. Page two of two. Okay, moving on to page two. Shortcuts. We have shortcuts. So that's the iOS shortcuts app. You can do a lot of interesting things with shortcuts. Sonos. Following that, we have Sonos. And you might remember, well, wait a minute, didn't we see that entertainment? This is one of the things I really appreciate that I believe was introduced with iOS 15. You can now have an app in multiple folders. 
and even in different pages. So you'll actually see Sonos appear a third time in a little bit. Speed test. So next we have the speedtest.net app. I like to check my connection occasionally and see how speeds are. Tax hit discount. We have a tax calculator. Translate. The translate app. TV remote. This is the Xfinity TV remote app, which allows me to control some of the other TVs in the house that have the X1 cable boxes set up. So if I can't find the remote or, you know, where was it put last, I can use this for the most part. Only thing you cannot do with the TV remote app is adjust the volume. Very annoying. Watch. There's the Apple Watch app for setting up an Apple Watch. Westminster Chimes full. And there's the Westminster Chimes full app, which is an app that essentially turns your phone into a chiming clock. It doesn't have the best sound in the world, but hey, if you want the chimes, you'll put up with it. Helpful utilities folder. Let's see if I find something apps. better. Information folder, six apps. Now here is information. Go in here. Information, heading. I have one password seven. One password seven. There's a newer version of this that I do need to get. Although I'm not looking forward to getting it because I've heard they've made some pretty disappointing changes that have been kind of regression and accessibility. Calendar, Tuesday, October There's the calendar app contacts. and contacts. Now, I know you could use the phone app for contacts, but I've always, you know, I'm familiar with using the contacts app from the iPod Touch. I don't use it as much anymore, but it's kind of a habit that it was there. Mac Tracker. Mac Tracker is an app for just looking at the history of Apple products in general. Even, you know, iPhones, finding out when different iPhones were introduced, iPod models, Macs. Anything Apple made, you can view its history here. My chart. My chart is a healthcare app for checking like records if your doctor's office uses it. US Mobile. US Mobile is the app for a carrier that I'm actually no longer with. So I don't know why I still have the app here. Double tap to open information folder, six apps. Okay, next. News and weather folder, five apps. We have my news and weather folder. Let's go in here. News and weather, Had carrot weather. And the first thing we have is carrot weather, which in my opinion is the very best weather app on iOS. I can't use anything else. Like, um, I subscribe to one of their higher tiers and the alerts and warnings I get about the weather are just so spot on. Everything from lightning alerts to storm cells and like government weather alerts. Everything is just so timely and I, I love it. So that's care weather. Liar. Leary, I think is how you say this one. Alex says liar. It's an RSS reader. I don't use this as much, although I want to get back into using it again. News. There's the Apple News app. NFB Newsline. NFB Newsline, if you're in the US, of course you have access to NFB Newsline for reading newspapers. Weather. And there's just the standard iOS weather app. News and productivity folder, four apps. Now we have productivity. Let's see what we have here. Productivity, hat files. We have files. Freelancer. That's the Upwork Freelancer app, which is something I'm starting to kind of dabble in a bit. Indeed Jobs. Indeed Jobs. We're kind of looking at Jobs. That's, that's something I'm starting to do. Pages. And Apple Pages. Product tip shopping folder. Seven apps. Hey, we like to shop sometimes. What do I have here? Shopping. Heading. Amazon. Amazon. Of course. Amazon.com. App Store. The App Store I keep in my shopping folder. Apple Store. Same with Apple Store. Buy those nice new Apple products. Actually, that's my preferred way to buy Apple products is using the Apple Store app. Best Buy. I have the Best Buy app for browsing there. eBay. There's eBay. Instacart. Recently updated. Instacart is a grocery app for getting groceries delivered, which I currently have a subscription I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not yet, though. I haven't decided yet. Parcel. And parcel. Now, the reason I may not keep Instacart is that being a Prime member, I also get access to Amazon Fresh 
Although I like the bigger varieties I've been able to find on Instacart. Double tap to open shopping folder, social folder, nine apps. Okay, let's go into here, into social. Social. Here we have Clubhouse. Clubhouse. The new audio-based social network. Well, it's not that new anymore, I guess. It has a lot of, like, audio rooms where you can chat with people and listen to presentations. It's pretty cool. Discord. Discord. I do have a Discord server, by the way. If people want that, just get in contact with me. And I will get you a new invite link. Because I think the one that I posted a while back is gone. It's expired. Dystopia. Beta. Dystopia. This is an app that's still in beta, although it's really a public beta. You can find it on Apple Viz, and it's a Reddit app for accessing Reddit. Facebook. Okay, there's Facebook for keeping up with everything that's happening there. LinkedIn. I've got LinkedIn for kind of professional social networking. Messenger. I need to do more with LinkedIn, but anyway, Messenger, Facebook Messenger, for messaging with Facebook friends. Spring. Spring. This is a Twitter client that I really like. It's just very easy to navigate, and it's got a lot of great features. Twitter. Twitter, that's the official Twitter app, which I really only have to get notifications. WhatsApp. And finally, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Another messaging service. Social folder, travel folder, 10 apps. Okay, travel. It's fun to travel. Travel, heading. Let's see what I have. Page one of two, adjustable. Okay, I don't know why I have two pages here. It looks like it's pretty Delta honors. Fly Delta. empty. Okay, so I have the Fly Delta app for booking Delta flights. Hilton Honors. Hilton Honors, which is my preferred hotel chain. I do a lot with Hilton properties. You might have noticed that recently that a lot of the elevators I filmed, if you are into my elevator videos, are at Hilton Properties. Hopper. Hopper. That's an app for tracking flights. Hyatt. Hyatt. I just have it to look at Hyatt Hotels. IHG. Same with IHG. JetBlue. JetBlue for booking JetBlue flights. JetBlue used to be my favorite airline, but some of the stuff I've been hearing about them kind of scares me. Marriott Bonvoy. The Marriott app, which is my second favorite hotel brand. Royal. The Royal Caribbean app, which I made extensive use of oh, a couple weeks back when I was on my cruise. And that has a lot of good information in it when you're cruising. You can check out the restaurant menus and ship activities really cool. Page one of two, and just page two of two. Now on page two, TripAdvisor Southwest. I have Southwest Airlines and TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. So pretty straightforward. Travel folder, settings. Drop settings. Okay, and finally, I have settings on this page, which I always, I just like that. That's always handy to know that that's kind of my last app on my home screen. Now, we do have the dock to look at. Hey, dock, phone, messages, phone. So in my dock, I have phone, messages, messages mail, mail and, music. and music, which are the apps I use very frequently. So that's why they're there. Now, let's take a look at my next page, page, one of two, page two of two. where I have a couple of quick access things. Dock, phone. So let's go back. Just press so noise. So I have the Sonos app. Again, I told you we'd see that again. I have that in my entertainment, helpful utilities, and on the second page of my home screen. So clearly I like my Sonos speakers. Great way to listen to music. Just Press Record. Just Press Record is a recording app that I absolutely love. It's the way I do it. Everything just syncs to iCloud Drive when it's done recording. You can record in wave and in stereo, and it just produces a very nice, high-quality recording. In some cases, I'm actually okay to just use this as opposed to bring my Olympus recorder to places. So to the right of that, batteries, widget, Collins iPhone 12, 91% charge, charging. We have the batteries widget. And I don't really check this as much now that I can have the battery on my lock screen. 
but I've kept it here anyway just to have it so I can see that my phone is 91%. MagSafe battery pack, 45% charged. I actually have my MagSafe battery pack connected and that has 45% right now. Collins Apple Watch, watch, 64% charged. And my brand new Apple Watch Series 8 has 64% battery. New trains in Boston. Now we have a few more apps. We have new trains in Boston, which is just a link to a website that allows me to track where our new MBTA subway cars are, because I've always been fascinated to stock them a bit. Google Maps, recently updated. Google Maps is one of the navigation apps I like to use, especially even if I'm helping family as a navigator. I like using that. Bard Mobile. Again, we have Bard Mobile. Voice Dream Reader. Voice Dream Reader. Doc, phone, Oops. TV remote. It skipped that last one, which is the Xfinity TV remote. So that's my second page. Now, I did say we'd have a look page two two, and just showing app library, app library, at my app search library, search. and we'll quickly run through this and see if there's anything else I missed that we should talk about. App library, search, app library, search field. So I just double tapped on the search field because that brings up an alphabetical list Cancel button. of all my apps. Section index, and jump ABC. So first app we have here is ABC for watching ABC content. Affirm. Affirm for financing. Aralo. Aralo is an app to get international eSIM data. And at first I got this to use on my cruise to Canada. However, the cell phone carrier that I use, Visible, recently added a plan that includes Canada roaming. So I just did that instead. Amazon. Okay, we have Amazon. Amazon Alexa. Amazon Alexa. Amex. American Express. Amtrak. Amtrak. App Store. App Store. Apple Store. App. Apple oh, Amtrak. Amtrak. I didn't talk about that. That's another app. I don't have that in my travel folder. I don't use it as often, but Amtrak, of course, for checking train schedules and all that. App Store. Okay, App Store. Apple Store. Apple Store. Assistant. That's the Google Assistant app. I just have it there. Audible. Audible. B. Heading. Bard Mobile. Okay, we have Bard Mobile. Be focused. Be focused. Be specular. Be specular. I don't think this app is really maintained, so I don't really use it anymore. It's a shame, because I actually used to really like how this worked. You could ask a question, and they would respond to you, so it, you could take a picture of something and be like, can you tell me what this says? And they would respond to you. It's pretty cool. Best Buy. Best Buy. Big Ben. The Big Ben, that's an app that uses the Big Ben chimes. Pretty neat. Blind Bargains. Blind bargains. Blindfold bowling. Blindfold bowling. That's another fun blindfold game for bowling. Blindfold sound search. Okay, we have sound search again. Blindfold V ball. V ball. Blindfold wild card. Wild card. Books. Apple books. Boston twenty five. Boston twenty five. This is one of our local news channels. It's their app, and I use this just to get push notifications about local news and all that stuff. Boston Children's My Children's Mobile. Boston Children's Hospital app. Brilliant Sync. Brilliant Sync. I had this for my BI-14 Braille display, which I got a good deal on a couple years back, but I don't really use that very much. C. Heading. Calculator. Okay, for C, we have Calculator. Calendar. Calendar. Camera. Camera. Carrot. Carrot weather. Castro. Castro. CBS Boston. CBS Boston, similar to Boston 25 News. I use that to keep up with local news. CBS News. And CBS News is another source that I like. Chime. There's Chime Mobile Banking. Clue. There's the Clue Navigation app, which is a pretty neat indoor navigation app that uses your camera and allows you to kind of record short routes. Pretty unique. Clock. There's Clock. Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Concertino. Concertino. All these I've talked about before, so I'm not really going into detail. Contacts. Content. Coriot. Coriot, that's an app for tracking. It's kind of a measurement that's been created to see how you would do on Jeopardy. This app is actually pretty accessible, as I remember. I haven't used it in a while, though. COVID home test. COVID home test. That is for using the Alum at home tests, which 
the government was giving out for a while for if you needed an accessible COVID test. They're Bluetooth COVID tests. CRB Classical. CRB Classical. This is the app for our local classical radio station, which I do listen to, although I don't always listen to it here with the CRB Classical app. I tend to use actually my Sonos speakers to listen to it. Credit Karma. Okay, there's Credit Karma. Cruise Picker. Cruise Picker, an app for kind of checking cruise deals and all that stuff. CVS. CVS Pharmacy for prescriptions and things like that. D, heading, day one. Day one is a journaling app. I don't really use it. Actually, I canceled my subscription to that. I tried it for a year and just wasn't doing much with it, so I canceled it. Dice World. Dice World. I haven't played in a while, but I do have it. Digit. Again, there's Digit for saving money. Digitize. Digitize is a barcode scanner that's not really kept up to date, though, so I don't really recommend it. It's one of the first accessible barcode scanners for the iPhone. I think when it first came out, the iPhone 3GS was still alive and kicking. Discord. Discord. Discover. Discover. DoorDash. DoorDash. Drive. Google Drive. Dropbox. And Dropbox, I do use those cloud services. Duncan. Dunkin' Donuts. Dystopia. Dystopia. E. Head. Here's Jeopardy Match. There's the Ears Jeopardy match, millionaire. and they have one based on who wants to be a millionaire as well, called Ears Millionaire. eBay. There's eBay. Envision. Envision AI. That's another app like Seeing AI. It's one I need to play with a bit more, though. Explore. Explorer. I believe that's Good Maps Explorer. An indoor navigation app. F. Heading. Facebook. Okay, we have Facebook. FaceTime. FaceTime. FedEx. FedEx. Fifth Third. Fifth Third Files, which is another finance app. Files, Files, Find My, Find My, Fire TV, Fire TV, Fitness, Fitness, Fly Delta, Fly Delta, Freelancer, Freelancer for Upwork, Free V, Amazon Free V, which used to be IMDb T IMDb TV. G Heading GGMM E Series. That's an app, GGMM E Series for couple of speakers that I used to use. I still have them, but don't use them quite as much anymore. Gmail. The Gmail app, although I do prefer mail. Good Maps Outdoors. Good Maps Outdoors. That used to be formerly the Seeing Eye GPS created by Sendero, but it's now become free and rebranded thanks to Good Maps. Good Reads. Good Reads. Google. Google. Google Calendar. Google Calendar. Google Home. Google Home, Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Photos, and Google Photos. Greyhound. So yes, I do have quite a bit of the Google apps on this phone. Greyhound. Greyhound for looking at the Greyhound buses. Group Me. Group Me, a messaging app for group chats. I use that for a couple of college projects, so that's why I have that. Grubhub. Grubhub, of course, for getting some food. H. Head Health. Health, it's just a standard Apple Health app. Hilton Honors. Hilton Honors. Home. Home. Hopper. Hopper. Hotspots. Hotspots, that's the Xfinity Hotspots app. Hulu. And the Hotspots app is used to connect up to the Xfinity Hotspots. If you're an Xfinity Internet customer, you have access to all the Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots. Hi. Okay, Hulu, Hulu, Hulu Hyatt, Heading, IHG, IHG, Indeed Jobs, Indeed, Instacart, Instacart, Instagram. I do have an Instagram account, although I don't really use it. Instant Checkmate. Instant Checkmate is kind of a weird app, but it's, I guess it could be useful. It's like a reverse phone number lookup and a whole bunch of things like that. iRobot. iRobot, that is actually for a Roomba vacuum that we have. So that's why we have that up. iTunes store. The iTunes store is here. J, head, JetBlue. There's JetBlue. Jump. Jump is an app that allows you to control your computer. So you need a Bluetooth keyboard to use this adequately, but it's pretty cool and it sends the audio across as well. I need to play with it more though. Just press record. Just press record. Okay, Kindle. Kindle. Kingdoms. 
Trivia Crack Kingdoms, which is another fun game, but I haven't played that in a while. LG, thank you. LG, thank you. I don't really need that anymore. That's the app for my LG Smart Air Conditioner, which I'm not really using anymore, but I did review that back in 2018. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Liar. Liar. Lid for Sonos. Or Leary, rather. Lid for Sonos is an app for controlling your Sonos speakers using the Apple Watch, which is very neat. Lift. There's Lift. Um, heading. Mac Tracker. Mac Tracker. Magnifier. Magnifier. Mail. Mail. Maps. Maps. Marriott. Marriott. So Apple Maps. And the Marriott. Messages. Messages. Messenger. Messenger. Move it. Move it is a public transportation app. So if you want to check when the next bus was coming or train or explore how to get somewhere using public transit, Move it is a very helpful app for that. Movies. Movies Anywhere is an app from Disney that allowed you to kind of merge your movie libraries. Pretty neat. M Ticket. M Ticket is for the MBTA commuter rail here in Massachusetts. If you have a digital ticket to ride, you can use that. Music. Music. My chart. My chart. My noise. My noise. N. Nature space. Nature space. Nest. Nest. We do have a Nest doorbell here. So that's why I have that. Netflix. Netflix. New trains in Boston. That new trains in Boston web page. News. News. NFB Newsline. NFB Newsline. Notes. Notes. Oh, heading. Online ordering for Windy City Pizza Vertical Line powered by Chow Now. The Windy City Pizza. O-Tunes. O-O-Tunes. It's a radio app and same database as used by the Victor Reader stream. Overcast. Overcast, another podcast player and likely what I'm going to go back to. Now that Castro is not updated. Hey, heading, pages. Pages. Pantograph. Pantograph, which is for monitoring some transit stuff. An app I need to play with a bit more. Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Parcel. Parcel. PayPal. Parcel is a great package tracking app, by the way. If I really explained that before. Phone. There's phone. Photos. Photos. Plex. Plex. Plex is an app for... If you have media on your computer that you'd like to be able to play from your phone, you can create a media server for it. Pluto TV. Pluto TV again. Pocket Recorder. Pocket Recorder, another app for recording. Although I don't really use it, I use just press record now. Prime Video. Prime Video. Provide. Prove It, I think is how you say that. It's a kind of a game where you could play these like trivia you have to pay it, but then you could win money for winning the games. It's kind of weird. R. Reminders. I have the reminders out. Replica. Replica is some kind of like AI app that I haven't played with yet. Ring. Ring. We used to have a ring system, although I don't know if we're going to still be able to use that. Roku. Roku. Royal. Royal Caribbean. S. Hattie. Safari. Safari. Scanner. Voice Dream Scanner. Seeing AI. Seeing AI. Settings. Settings. Shortcuts. Shortcuts. Shutterfly. Shutterfly, of course, an app for creating photo books and cards and things like that, if you're into that stuff. Slack. Slack is another like, business messaging app. I use that for an internship. So that's why I have that here. Sleepwatch. Sleepwatch is an app I love for tracking my sleep. Um, one of the things I love about it is Every morning after I'm up a while, it sends me a push notification saying, hey, you got seven hours, 45 minutes of sleep last night. So it gives you some good insight. Sonicare. Sonicare for the Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush. Mine does have Bluetooth, so I can use the app if I want. I don't, though. Sonos. Sonos. Soundhound. Soundhound for kind of identifying music. Southwest. Southwest. Spectrum Access. Spectrum Access is an app that I'd like to explore more, but I haven't really done so. It's an app that you can get audio described movies, movie tracks, and kind of listen to them on your phone. Listen to the track of the movie while you have the movie playing on like a TV or something. Something I definitely want to experiment with. Speed test. 
There's the speedtest.net. Spoof card. Spoof card. <laughs> I probably shouldn't go too much into that. It's a thing that can do a lot of stuff with the phone. I'll just leave it at that. Spring. Spring. Starbucks. For, tw for Twitter. Starbucks app. Don't really use it, but I have it. Stream. Xfinity Stream. Student. Canvas student. I don't need that much anymore now that I've graduated from college, but I like to look at it occasionally and take a look back at old assignments. Sundial. Sundial for tracking like the solar and lunar phases. Support. Apple support. T. Toxy calc. Toxy calc is like a talking scientific calculator. Target. Target for shopping at Target. Tax hit discount. Tax discount is again that app for calculating sales price and discounts and taxes. TD Bank US. TD Bank. Team Talk. Team Talk. Of course, if you use Team Talk for servers, I don't really use it much anymore, but it's there. Test Flight. Test Flight for installing beta apps. Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster is an app, of course, for getting like concert tickets, live theater tickets, all that good stuff. TikTok. TikTok. Thought about starting an account there. Well, actually, I made one, but I can't figure it out yet. So maybe one of these days you'll see some of this content there. If I can make some short little tutorials, but we'll see. Tip calculator. Tip calculator for, of course, as the name implies, calculating tips. Translate. Translate. Google Translate, I believe, or Apple Translate. I don't know which one it is. TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor. Trivia Crack. Trivia Crack. Tune in Radio. Tune in Radio for accessing internet radio. TV. The Apple TV app. TV Listings. There's that TV Listings app. TV Remote. TV Remote for Xfinity. Twitter. Twitter. Twitterific. And Twitterific. This is the Twitter app I used to use until I started using Spring, but I've kept Twitterific. Although I really don't need to anymore. Because spring is fine. It's perfect. You heading. Okay, then we have Uber. Uber, Uber Eats. Uber Eats. UPS. UPS. US Mobile. US Mobile. USPS Mobile. And USPS Mobile. V. Heck Venmo. Venmo. Visible. Visible, which is the app for my carrier. VLC. VLC. Voice. Google Voice. Voice Dream. Voice Dream Reader. Voice Memos. Voice Memos. W. Wallet. Wallet, Walmart, Walmart, Watch, Watch, Waze, Waze, Navigation, Car Navigation out. WCVB, WCVB is our ABC News Boston app. Weather, Weather, Westminster Chimes full, Westminster Chimes full. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, Wikipedia, Wikipedia, Windy City. That's the official Windy City app, although I don't have a good experience with it. X heading, Xfinity, Xfinity, Y heading, for tracking like your Xfinity account. Yelp. Yelp. YouTube. YouTube and YouTube Studio. Studio. Z. Zany Touch. Zany Touch, an old classic game that's been around since like iOS 3. <laughs> Always fun to play that. Zoom. And Zoom. Number sign. Heading. Of course, for dealing with Zoom meetings. Then finally, we have. Hashtag NFB22. The NFB22 convention app, which is always. Handy to use a convention, can access your agenda and all that stuff. One password seven. One password seven. Five zero radio pro. And five zero radio pro. Five zero radio pro. Which is for listening to police scanner content. Sign. Heading. So home. Safari. Safari. Oof. Wow. That's a lot of apps. But I hope you've enjoyed this. It's kind of fun for me to record this. And, you know, if you guys enjoyed it, maybe I'll try to do one of these periodically. A what's on my iPhone video. Because I do install a lot of apps, but then part of my issue is I install stuff, forget about it, and end up leaving it on there. So, yeah, that's where things can get a little funny. Because it's like, oh... Here's an app I installed, but I don't use it, so. But regardless, that's a look at what's on my iPhone as of October, what is today, October 
11th. Yes, October 11th. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Stay tuned. I have a lot of exciting content planned as always. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon.